In this video, you'll learn to improve the lighting and color in your photographs using adjustment layers. These special layers instruct Photoshop to make the change on a completely separate layer. This not only protects your original photograph, it gives you maximum editing flexibility too, as you'll see in this video. Let's add an adjustment layer to make this image brighter and to add some punch. Click the half black, half white circle at the bottom of your layers panel and choose brightness contrast. Notice the new adjustment layer in your Layers panel and how it's highlighted, which indicates it's active. The Properties panel that opens offers controls for the active adjustment layer. These controls will affect all the layers below this adjustment layer in the Layers panel, which in this case is the photograph on Layer 0. In the Properties panel, try clicking the Auto button to have Photoshop correct the image for you, and then adjust the sliders to your liking. To see a before and after version, click the visibility icon to the left of this adjustment layer in the Layers panel. So here's our before, and here's our after version. If the adjustment looks too strong, you can use the opacity setting near the top of the Layers panel to reduce its strength. While the image looks a lot better, the colors could stand some boosting. So let's add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And in the Properties panel, drag the Saturation slider to the right until the image looks good to you. Go ahead and close the Properties panel by clicking the icon at upper right. The image looks even better, though the grassy area and some of the more colorful houses now look a little too vibrant. To fix that, we'll hide the adjustment from those areas using a layer mask, which is the white thumbnail that comes with every adjustment layer. Since this mask is filled with white, the adjustment we made is visible across the entire photo. However, by adding black to the mask, the adjustment can be hidden in those areas. To hide the adjustment, make sure the mask is active, which is indicated by the white brackets on the Layer Mask thumbnail in the Layers panel. Now grab the Brush tool from the Tools panel, and in the Options bar, click the Brush Preset Picker, and choose a Soft Edge Brush. Use the size slider to set the brush tip pixel size to approximately 150 pixels for this image. Press return or enter on your keyboard to close the brush preset picker. Now take a peek at the color swatches at the bottom of your tools panel. The foreground color swatch determines what color the brush tool uses. When you have a layer mask active, your only choices are white, black, or gray. So if the foreground color swatch isn't black, go ahead and reset them to their default values by clicking the tiny icon at upper left of the color chips, and then click the curved arrow to its right to switch them so black is on top. Now mouse over to your image and brush across the areas in which you want to hide the adjustment. You can change brush size as you go using the left and right bracket keys to the right of the P key on your keyboard. For example, you can tap the right bracket key to increase brush size or the left bracket key to decrease brush size. If you happen to hide too much of the adjustment, let's say you hid the reflection of the red house in the water, click the curved arrow above the color swatches to switch them so white is on top and then brush back across that area to reveal the adjustment. Remember, when you're working inside a layer mask, black conceals the adjustment and white reveals it. To quickly assess the changes you've made to the image, you can compare a before and after version. To do that, hold down the Option key on a Mac or Alt in Windows as you click the visibility icon to the left of Layer 0 in your Layers panel. When you do, Photoshop turns off all the other layers. So here's our Before, and here's our After version. As you can see, adjustment layers made short work of correcting this image, and the layer masks that come with them let you hide changes from areas that don't need it. Adjustment layers remain editable too. For example, to change the color boost, double click the Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer thumbnail, and in the Properties panel, you can adjust the saturation slider. If you decide you don't like an adjustment layer, you can delete it by making sure it's active in the Layers panel and then pressing the Delete or Backspace key on your keyboard. Let's resurrect that layer by choosing Edit, Undo Delete Layer. Now choose File, Save. To save your document again with the same settings you used in the last video, including the Photoshop format, which will preserve your adjustment layers for re-editing in the future. 
In the next video, you'll learn how to remove unwanted content from an image using the Spot Healing Brush and Patch Tools.